Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new quick tip by Janus Engineering. My name is Alex and today I will show you how to speed up your machine simulation as well as a few more tricks for machine simulation. What does our scenario look like this time? This part that we have assembled into the machine is what we are programming. We have finished adding all the operations and can simply just select this program up at the top to simulate the machine. Once I click simulate machine, the post-processor will begin to generate the NC code, and we will see that the, begin, the code will begin to form on this right-hand side in the execution view. We are going to set our speed slider all the way to max. Then all we have to do is I'm going to pull up a quick little timer here so we can compare them later, and then we'll click play and we will start our simulation. And just like that, we're finished. The first run took about 38 seconds to run completely through. Now, how can I speed up the simulation? If we look, our speed slider is already at our max time. So how do we change this without having to change the speed slider again? First, I'm gonna reset my stopwatch here, and then I'm gonna open up simulation settings. Once inside this dialog box, we're going to go to the advanced settings. We're gonna go into our minimum simulation time. This is the setting that we are going to change in order to get this to work. The setting will change how fast the simulation picture is updated. So for us, we're going to change this to 0.5 instead of 0.01. Once we do that, we'll click OK. We will reset our machine. And then we are going to rerun this, making sure that it is at max speed again. And then we push play and our simulation will start. As you see the simulation start and begin, you can see that the graphics are not updated as smoothly as they were before. They're still being updated though. If you look, we're already almost at 12 seconds and we're already almost through the last operation. We'll finish this up and you'll see that it's only 18 seconds to complete all of the operations compared to the 38 that we had before. Now, I'm gonna reset my timer one more time. We're gonna go back into our simulation settings and this time we are gonna go into our display instead of advanced. Now, we're going to affect, we're going to change the simulation display. If we open up this dialog box, we can see that we get three options, all, suppress graphics, and suppress all. Currently, we have this set to all. All will show every graphic move necessary, including if there's a collision stopping it and all of the IPW automatically updating. Suppress graphics is going to suppress all of our graphic movements. So we can see the tool change, but we can't see anything else. It's only going to stop if there is a collision or a crash. And our last one that we have is suppress all. Suppress all means that our tools are going to change, but this isn't going to stop at all. The collisions won't stop it, and the IPW won't be updated until it's done. The collisions are still going to be reported up here in that details section, just in case we need to see them if there are any. We're going to select that suppress all, reset our machine, and then we're going to run this one more time through. We'll click play and start our timer. Now, like I was saying, we can see that the tool's changing and it's moving much faster, but we can't see the IPW changing until the very end. And there it is. Now, here's our finished product. Our IPW is changed and we're ready to go. You can still go up and you can analyze this within the simulation. We'll click analyze and we'll go in and we'll zoom in onto the part. And there we can see that we have all of our green is within tolerance. Our red is below our tolerance. That's because there's threads in there. So it doesn't think that there's enough in there. And then you can see that the gray, finally, is the part that hasn't been cut and isn't done yet. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a like and a subscribe so you can st stay tuned to all of our new videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Let's make it real. Janos Engineering.